of course. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Working on a little bit of a project today. We're doing some customizing um, earlier in the week, slash, well, it was late last week. I uh, got a three of these thanks to um, Bulletproof Villain. You know, they're, they're, they're slightly damaged car backs, you know, they are a little bit warped. They're obviously damaged in transit and he was letting them go cheap. So um, I grabbed a couple for the pur sole purpose of customizing. Um, I already used one of them on my Bespin Luke. So basically what I've done is uh, taken the neck off of the Bespin Luke, as you can see on this one. This is the most recent updated uh, 40th anniversary Bespin Luke. Not really a lot different to the old one, um, bar the new head, but uh, you can see the neck is uh, actually part of the body, as it was um, back in 2014 when the figure was originally released. So what I've done is I've basically hollowed out that neck and put the neck and head from the Dagobah look inside that. So this is what we're going to do today. But because I've already got this one, I'm going to do a post uh, battle with Vader look. So he's going to be losing an arm. He's going to look a little bit, a little bit scuffed up and beaten up and not too good so I'm, I'm looking forward to giving this a crack and I thought why not get it on camera and just talk through what we've got so what I do have in terms of my tools all right in terms of the figures I have a Dagobah look and a Bespin look which you know I thought was pretty good at the time but then they'd released this head sculpt and it's just apples and oranges you know <laughs> like let's look at the two together I don't know which one I like more. So this is what we're going to work with. We've got these two. I have the tube of super glue. I have an X-Acto knife, really nice and sharp. Always be careful when using these. I cut myself with it. I did it the other night. And a pair of pliers. I just have some uh, tape wrapped around the tips just so, you know, they're a little bit dirty and rusty. So I don't want any of that sort of imprinting on any of my figures. I also have a six millimeter, six millimeter drill bit and an eight millimeter drill bit just for some um, fine touching in terms of hollowing that neck. Normally I would probably go out into the shed and use a Dremel um, to really, really get that nice and tidy. But it is a cold and miserable day out there and I really don't want to be outside for longer than I need to be. So we're going to do it with some old drill bits. Um, don't need a drill. Um, and also I have just a tea towel here. And I've just boiled the kettle for a nice mug of water so we can start popping these joints apart and uh, working on this figure. So while I'm, before I go and get that, we'll just get this one open. But, uh, don't really need the lightsaber and the blaster right this second, so we'll just put that aside. Get all the rubbish out of the workway. I also have here a very unkempt box of paint, so I'm going to be needing some browns and some reds. But uh, also probably going to have to um, deal with this head too. The problem with this figure is a lot of them were released and the, the hair wasn't fit to the head properly. You can sort of see the gaps just in there. It's sort of sitting a little bit higher than this one. I had to do the same thing. So that should be too bad. Once it's all boiled, I should just be able to sort of lift up the edges, spit some super glue in there, and then just push it right down while it's um while it's still warm. So let's go get the kettle, get the boiling water, and we'll come in here and we'll get started. All right, so here is my mug of nice boiling water. It's a Rogue One cup. Yeah, it is. So basically, we're going to start by putting him in there upside down. That'll get that neck, head nice and soft and uh same with this one and then we're going to go to town so we'll leave them sort of sitting in there for maybe a minute again just want to sort of go over this one and take a look just while we're waiting for those figures to sort of uh, get nice and hot so this is kind of what we're aiming for here and uh i will look at some source material on my phone when it sort of comes to painting where the arm gets sort of cut off. 
and etc. But uh, yeah, what a nice beat up look <laughs> from the end of uh, Empire Strikes Back. So while I'm waiting on that, I'll sort of get some of these tools out of the way that I don't really need at the moment. Super glue, pliers, drill bits. I'm just going to lay this out. So I've got somewhere for the hot water to sort of just drain off. So I'll take Dagobaluk out. This is going to be quite simple. Um, yeah, that's a nice easy pop. All those joints are nice and soft. Um, so for now, we can completely discard this. We don't need that at the moment. Which is uh, which is good. Don't need that at all. So let's pop that to the side. So now what we have here is this Luke head. And you can see there there's a there is a gap there where the um head just isn't quite fitting in. So I'm actually just going to sort of hold that in the water just for a moment just to get that it doesn't take long for the plastic to cool down once you've taken it out and dried it off um, so we're just going to hold that there for a moment that won't take too long at all quickly dry it off we just don't want much of that water coming out As you can see, I'm just going to sort of peel the hair back, brush back the fringe, and see the gap. Get my super glue ready, and get it to the point where it's uh, where I have a drip coming out the end. This is uh, nice and soft to work with at the minute, so very carefully Bring a few drops into that head pushing it down and a little bit will sort of squeeze out um, sort of dry that off as I go Ugh, I caught it I freaking caught it so I'm just going to hold that down for a moment just wait for that sort of glue to just sort of set nice and quickly. So it hasn't taken long at all to, to sit where I need it to. It's already... That's uh, good to go. I think. Tidy it up a little bit. That looks fine. I'm happy with that. So that can go to the side. So this is where we get started. And uh, I am sorry for what I'm about to do to this figure. Pop that head off. Nice and easy. Put that one aside. We may use that for another figure later on. So I'm just going to zoom up. Go and I'll try and do my best to keep this in frame, but I don't want to keep my eye on the camera, so so just along the top of the collar there. Just want to sort of take that off nice and tidily. It's quite soft. It's been soaking in that boiling water for a few minutes, so it's uh it's quite easy to to do right at the moment. So there we go. So we're left with this. And then basically, what you do is very carefully trim down into where that neckline is in the collar. And then just inside the line of the collar, just really start, start hollowing this thing out a little bit. Just, just with some nice tidy, tidy cuts. Um, don't want to get this too messy. More so just to sort of um, get those edges so when I start drilling it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, it gives that, it's already got the edge to sort of um, work with when it's uh, drilling out. So again, this plastic is really nice and soft right now. Um, so if you do get caught and it starts feeling a little bit tough to work with, uh, just re-boil re it. 
just um, dunk it in if you need to get some fresh uh, boiled water do so never hurts to uh, do another pass at it so what I actually do I'm going to try and just sort of apologies if I'm sort of going off off camera here a little bit but um I've got uh, YouTube playing in the background, <laughs> so if you can hear my TV, that's what I'm doing. I'm not actually watching it at the moment, I've just got videos playing. So this is where we're sitting right now. So we've still got that sort of collar flared up relatively thin and, uh, this is probably you know what I might actually dunk that again just for a moment just to get it nice and soft before I start drilling so there is the, uh, the previous neck joint and the chunk I've cut out so far so there is the uh, two Luke heads next to each other So that should be okay now. So I'm going to start with my six, six mil drill bit, and literally just by hand, I'm just sort of pushing that in, just very slowly drilling it out, breaking off any uh, sort of loose bits that sort of come out in the meantime. That one will have to just sort of sit for a moment. Now sort of start with a six, just it's a little bit easier. You could probably start with a smaller one as well. You know, just using too big a drill bit straight away will sort of tend to like anything, it'll tend to sort of rip it too much. You, ideally you'd like your drill bits to be pretty sharp too. Which mine rarely are, but for this one it seems it's fine at the moment. You just start seeing little bits sort of flecking out as the gets sort of hollowed. You start just sort of um, sort of pulling pulling bits out as it gets loose. And uh, at this stage, I don't know that I'm actually going to need to go up to the eight, but so this may work well. It is sort of hard to clean it right out. gonna have a crack with the eight while the plastic is sort of soft and malleable just to really clean up some of those edges there we go that's looking a bit better now that I've now that I've done the eight sort of just sort of cut a few bits out of it almost think that's pretty well done. I know a lot of people will um, sort of really hollow it out and they'll put the peg joint from from this. They'll find a way to get that into there, but I'm not too fussy about that. Um, I don't really need the neck to move. I, once it's in there, I'm happy. It's just, just part of the look. I'm more inclined with the aesthetic because uh, if we get a look at this one, still get a lot of good head movement at the top of the neck. And so that's fine with me. So basically, we just want to try and make that fit. So what I did have to do is actually trim down the neck a little bit. But you could 
uh, bore that out a little bit more, which I might actually do. I might just try that and just see if I can get it nice and clean. If I can get the full neck in there, um, that would be fantastic because uh, with the first one, I did have to shave the neck down quite a lot. So um, we'll, we'll have a go at this. We'll try this way this time. Didn't want to go too far down. You can start to sort of see into the hollow of the figure. <laughs> so it is a little bit tight. So I may just sort of um, just trim down the sides of the neck maybe towards the back just to get this sort of this sort of bulk out around here so again that's reasonably simple to do I don't want to go too low just get the stuff out the way so just shaving it down just to sort of taper that edge a little bit. We'll just help it get in there a little bit better. And probably not to the front. Um, you sort of want to keep that sort of Adam's apple area reasonably clean. But you know, you don't want to take too much off. Take a look, let's see if that will fit. Almost there, I think, guys. I think this is almost ready to be uh, put in place. Neck might be just be a little bit long still, but it seems to uh, fit nicely. need to uh you know what I think we're good just going to uh trim out a little bit of the back here I sort of took a bit from the sides so just behind the collar um, into the sort of straight into the back there I'm gonna try and move some of that sort of guts out of it so to speak Want to slice into into the sculpted part like I just did, but it doesn't look like it's hurt it at all, so that will be fine. All right, I think we're ready for action. That feels nice, feels nice and snug. It's a nice tight fit. So basically, super glue. Just to the inside of that collar. It's okay to be a little bit messy with this, so it's um then just lining it up exactly where we want it, pushing it in. That feels and looks pretty good. You can sort of see maybe some slight flaking there to the inside of the collar. It's a simple fix, just uh, trimming that out. Not too bad at all. So there we have it. There is uh, 
Bespin Luke with a new head. Now we can get to work on uh, beating this guy up a little bit. So let me tidy this up and we'll come right back. All right, so we're at the next step. I've uh, just got him putting his arm in the water. That's getting ready to get me chopped off. I should actually Google to make sure that's the uh, correct arm. I know it is, <laughs> but. So checking out some photos, I've uh, sort of just saved one for the moment. Um, if I bring that up on my phone here. This is basically gonna be sort of my reference for what's going on with his face. <laughs> um, you know, he's sort of mostly sort of just a bit of uh, blood and stuff around, he, around his eye. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of creative license and uh, do what must be done. So it basically gets severed off at the collar there. So <laughs> we're just going to leave that as is, I think. I don't think there's going to be any other, any other thing I could do. I'll probably end up just... Um, I'm not sure what to do there yet. So I do have some putty that I might just fill in that hole with. So I have this stuff here, it's called Knead It. It's a polymer repair compound, multi-purpose. Uh, it does exactly what you want. Reshape, rebuild and repair many surfaces. Shapes like putty, sets like a rock. So I'm actually gonna use a tiny bit of this. If I can. It's a little bit, little bit messy here, but uh, we'll work it out. I really don't need much at all, so I just need to sort of take that slice off. I'm just gonna uh, knead this in my fingers for a minute. Should get the uh, the two sort of compounds working together. There's a bit of an outer layer and an inner layer. Once they're all sort of merged, that's when it starts to uh, set. And I will uh, zoom up again, just so we can get up close. So it's all looking like one sort of consistent colour to me now. It's a cauterised wound anyway, so uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember how long it takes to set. Um, I don't think it was very long, so by the time we get to that point, we might be okay. So bear with me, I'm just gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back. All right, so while I was doing that, while I was waiting for the uh, putty to set, it's almost dry there. I did sort of take the liberty of setting up a couple of paint colours here. Uh, just with some crappy old brushes, this doesn't need to be a tidy, tidy operation. I just want to um, just try mixing some stuff. These are all Citadel colours, um, which, you know, they've been sitting around for years. I haven't, I barely use them. Um, so I just, just wanted to sort of see what I could get. I'm not an expert painter or anything by any regards, so I uh, did just want to try and so to just mix, get some mixes happening here and uh, see what I can come up with. I sort of just wanted a nice sort of dark, almost like a dirty blood. Like it's almost like it's dried, basically. Probably less, less of that brown, a little more of that red in there. And I'm uh, just going to open up that image again, just so I've got a little bit of reference. So like I said, not an expert, <laughs> forgive me for this. This is uh, just my little project that I'm working on here. Just dirtying up a little bit. I will have a go at this hand. Or lack thereof. Red on. I'm 
gonna zoom out and make sure I can get it sort of on camera as I'm doing this. It's not easy. Not easy trying to do two things at once. And just sort of dirtying it up a little bit there. It's not too bad. He's bruised and beaten. It's not looking too bad actually. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Get that sort of sort of white red off there that I've sort of accidentally rubbed on with my dirty fingers. So. Still got my mug of water here, which is nice and warm, perfect for perfect for wiping off. So and just to touch up a little bit. Just want to sort of remove a little bit of that off his cheek there. You can sort of see it sort of just rubbed in that sort of gap there next to his nose. Again, it's not a big deal, but uh, just sort of uh, blend that across a little bit, perhaps. Don't want to go too far, you know. Like, it's, uh, you know, you can have a project looking really good, but the second you go too far, it's um, you can sort of lose the effect you had on it. Now what I'm going to do is sort of mix with another brush. So what I want to do is basically sort of just dirty him up a little bit. Um, so we'll use that other brush, that's a bit softer. So um, yeah, just sort of run a bit of that sort of darkness through his hair, give him, because his hair still looks kind of um, you know, clean, <laughs> I guess. I'm just going to try and mix some of this black and brown together. And just uh, sort of just messily throw that on. Probably a little bit too dark, but it's okay. We'll work with it. And I'm just going to get some paper towel. I'll simply wipe it straight off. Sort of just mix in with the uh, sort of a wet brown now, just sort of mix it with that black. Just take that sort of darkness out of it, but still, still keeping it a little bit sort of messier and darker. And you know, like he's literally been through probably one of the worst battles of his life. I'm actually going to let that just sort of sit before I um. I might actually let that set. That actually looks okay. I might just dab at it a little bit just to take some of that off the sort of top layers, those sort of top strands of hair there. Just yeah, let the sort of colour sink into all the um all the gra cracks and grooves there. That's so already looking looking better than it was. <clears throat> I will need to um, get rid of the blaster because I don't think he has the blaster still at this point. But uh, yeah, it's it's kind of coming together now. It's uh, I'm 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 digging this. It's it's kind of cool. Now I do have an armor wash. I'm not sure what this is like. I don't. Think I haven't used this one myself, um, so I'm not really sure what to expect with this, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it's uh, it's 
why I'm here. All right, so now I just need to move everything back out of the way again. <clears throat> just because I want to sort of dirty up his uniform a little bit. Let's just sort of slap that on. I'm not going to be too, too particular. That's not going to actually, um, look like this, but uh, just want to get that sort of dirty effect. You know, he's been down in the depths of Cloud City, duking it out with his old man. And uh, you know, that it's not a clean area by any, by any stretch of the imagination down there in the uh, carbon freezing chamber. So so basically just gonna try and cover all that over get that looking uh nice and dirty let me just use this paper towel so sort of just loosely pat it dry pat it off probably could have uh probably could have done this a little quicker but that's okay I think that'll work. Just want to wet it down a little bit. You know what guys, I think this is actually going to work really well. Um, once I get out into the shed and give him a good coat of uh, sort of a matte, matte finish, matte varnish, just to uh, clear it up, just to give that seal that layer of everything that's on him. Well, that's uh, it's actually, I think this turned out better than I hoped, to be honest, guys. Uh, <laughs> I was a little bit, a little bit unsure how this was going to go, if I'm honest. But uh, I'm actually quite happy with this. Just want to make sure I've got that sort of, sort of that wash nice and covered. <clears throat> Just in terms of wiping it off, still giving it that dirty look. Don't want to, don't want to wipe it too clean. But uh, it won't matter for most of the figure, so... <clears throat> so if I hold him up next to the clean one... There we have it. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it here. I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. Um, I will sort of let this sort of dry for a little while. And I will go out and give it a spray of matte matte clear just to um just to give it a nice coating that'll stop any of this sort of paint from rubbing off and getting my hands dirty every time i want to touch the figure so i think it'll be okay but uh yeah just just for peace of mind just to seal it so yeah i'll, I'll once i've done that it's all dried up i'll come back and show you the f finished product Alright guys, so I decided to bypass the uh, clear spray and just, just show the finished product because I'm going to go out and spray it and it's not actually going to change the look of it whatsoever. So I've just thought I'd share it now just so I can uh, go and get it sprayed and then I can edit the video and get it uploaded. So this is basically what I've come up with. And, uh, 
pretty pretty happy with the results to tell you the truth i uh wasn't sure how this was going to go this was very much going to be a uh wing it and see what happens kind of kind of deal but i sort of checked out a lot of resources and i've followed a lot of customizers to sort of see how they do that so i've definitely taken a lot of inspiration from a lot of people uh the main sort of neck swap um sort of that whole hollowing out um that's sort of inspired by um, Tud Russell on, on Instagram. I've spoken about him before in some of my previous custom videos, but um, he did a basically every version of Luke in Empire Strikes Back, including the handstand Luke with the, uh, with the hair falling down. So he did it all. So uh, I'm just pretty, pretty darn happy with how this one's turned out. You know, I'd love to get a sort of attachment, you know, the uh, the sort of thing he straps over his arm at the end of Empire when uh, when Leia gets him in the med bay. But uh, for now, this is sort of his... I need a weather vane for him to hang off of, basically, now. So I may have to make up a little weather vane that he can hang upside down from. Next to... That one there, nice clean Bespin Luke. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. Please drop a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do give the video a thumbs up. That would be absolutely awesome. And uh, consider joining as a member too. That would be fantastic. You can go to my homepage, youtube.com forward slash the force with Jesse and uh, the little join tab is at the top there. So that would be fantastic. But yeah, let me know what you think. Any other questions? I hope I've covered covered it pretty well. But um, any other questions? Don't hesitate to uh, don't hesitate to ask. So thank you very much for watching. Till my next video. May the force be with you always.